Fallout 4 is a game rated M by the ESRB. Hello and welcome back to more Steven Plays Fallout 4. This is episode 6, and I gotta admit, it's kind of a momentous occasion because this is the first time, uh, the first episode, where I get to actually act on your suggestions, which is really exciting. Uh, the first five episodes were pre-recorded, and, uh, now I have a chance to actually take all of your advice and work at it. Now, before I do, before I jump into this episode, let me quickly remind everyone that I've just read over, uh, almost like 1,500 or 2,000 comments. I'm not going to remember absolutely everything, but I think I got the gist of it. And if I miss anything, you can always remind me. So first off, uh, check it out. This is what I'm wearing now. Uh, I went through and uh, raided this entire place, which is exciting. Um, I stripped everything. Yes, even the gold watch in the filing cabinet, which so many of you were adamant about letting me know. I got every single piece of everything besides some scrapped... Some stuff that I could scrap, which I will deal with, uh, a little bit later. Otherwise, I got all of the stuff I need. And, I have almost a complete outfit now, uh, of armor. The only thing I'm missing is a left leg. Tried to find one. Could not find one. Also, I had to put some of my guns down. I think they're down in the foyer. Um, and I can get those and scrap them later if I need to. What I need to do now, is talk to, uh, Man, what are you to Mama Murphy. For? Shut up, Preston! I'm having a conversation. I haven't talked to Mama Murphy yet, so let's chat. Ma'am. You're not what I expected dog meat would find in that little neighborhood. But oh, so much better. Dog meat? So, he's your dog? Aw, uh, he ain't my dog. No, sir. Dog meat, he's what you call his own man. You can't own a free spirit like that. But he chooses his friends and sticks with them. He'll stay by you now. I saw it. Um... Yeah, <laughs> I'm kind of feeling like you're nuts. Great. You're completely nuts. <laughs> From where you're standing, I would seem crazy. My gift is pretty nuts, that's for sure. But it's the chems, kid. They give me the sight. Oh. That. Um. That, you know what? Go on. I'm listening. I can see a bit of what was and what will be. And even what is right now. Now, and right now, I can see this something coming, drawn by the noise and the chaos, and it is angry. Uh... What is it? Mama Murphy, I need more, please. I see. I see. Oh. It's... It's horrible, kid. Claws and teeth and horns. The very face of death itself. All I can manage. That's all. I need to rest now. And you have a job to do. Like it or not, we're all counting. Yeah, you're definitely crazy. Um and a drug addict. But hey right? you know, whatever whatever helps you, Mama Murphy. And apparently, from what you're describing, it sounds like there is a death claw coming. Now grit. Obviously doesn't know this information, but I do from playing Fallout 3 that, uh, those are not fun things. We do not want to deal with them, but apparently one is going to be coming. Let's see, is there anything around here that we can deal with? Nopey, nope, nope, nope. Yes, yes, you gotta calm down a little bit. Alright, let's, uh, let's see if we can hack this, uh, this terminal. Welcome to Robco. Also, I'm gonna be honest, you guys blew my freaking mind. One of the, uh... One of the suggestions, actually multiple, multiple people said this. There's a way to get rid of answers. 
like dud answers. I did not know this. Apparently, this was in Fallout 3. I played through all of Fallout 3 and never knew this. Never knew this. And it really blew my mind. Okay, so let's get started. You'll notice that these are, um, these actually have five letters in them. So let's just start somewhere. We'll start with first. Uh, likeness one. So we got to figure out where the likeness is. Uh, so let's see. What's... What's one that has a similar likeness? Um, it could be... It could be fixes. Perhaps the, uh, the eye is in the right spot. Let's try that. Likeness zero, so it's definitely not that. It's not the eye. Uh, so let's go back and look at first and try something other than the eye in that slot. Uh, rigid, it's not gonna work. Um, something's in the right spot, but what is it? Uh, could it be... It could be sense. Could be sense. The the S is in the right spot. Let's try that. Sweet. Okay, that ended up working, but um, one of the big things that you guys were telling me is that you can actually go into the brackets where there's not words, and selecting those will randomly remove words and will also restore your, your tries. I had no idea. Also, um, if you exit the terminal, um, it resets your tries, and even if you use all four tries, it does reset after 10 seconds. Although, depending on how complex it is, um, you may, like, it may save you time to just exit the terminal after three tries and then jump back in instead of doing four and waiting the 10 seconds. Up to you. So we can unlock the security gate, but I think I'm a little more interested in the log entries. After hours tomfoolery, let's try that. For the last time, the red coat mannequin displays are not toy soldiers and are not to be played with after hours. Two of them have scuffed paint, and this morning one of the foot regiment pieces was missing his arm. This sort of horsing around will not be tolerated. Anyone caught engaging in such behavior will be written up, docked an hour's pay, and charged for damages. Chief Curator Harold Nash. Roaches in the basement. Someone get maintenance down in the basement to deal with that roach problem. Do it now, on the down low, while the museum is open. Discretion is key. We cannot afford to close the museum again, nor is it acceptable for a child to find a cockroach in her hair as she's learning about taxation without representation. This situation must be resolved immediately. Harold Nash. How about the Anchorage exhibit? After meeting with the director and board of trustees, I'm afraid I must deliver some rather dire news. Our planned Anchorage exhibit must uh, be put on indefinite hold. It is simply not within the museum's budget at this time to make the renovations necessary to accommodate such an ambitious endeavor. My thanks to the curatorial and maintenance teams for all the work that's been done thus far. Harold Nash. And then finally, the last entry, Saturday, October 23rd, 2077. This is Megan Hayes. I'm a tour guide here at the Concord Museum of Freedom. I am so scared. When everyone saw the flashes, they left. Even Mr. Nash. He just ran away and left me here. Jerk. And then one of those army helicopter things crashed into the roof. I saw soldiers, but they looked freaked out. I just hid from them. I've only been to Massachusetts a month. I don't really know anyone, and I don't know where to go. I broke the lock on the curator's desk and uh, took the gun. I'm going to hide in one of the rooms for a few days until things calm down. If somebody reads this, please come find me. But if you try to hurt me, I swear I'll shoot you. All right. Uh, actually, one of the uh, more interesting pieces of advice that I was given um, by one of the commenters was to not unlock the security gate. Uh, hacking the terminal gives you experience. But uh, one of the things you could do is go unlock it with uh, lockpicking, and then you could also gain uh, experience there, which is kind of a cool little tidbit. There's also a comic here, Robco Fun. Perfect. You've collected an issue of Robco Fun, includes the Atomic Command holotape game. Uh, okay, so that's what it does. It just gives you, I think, the game. It doesn't do anything else. Take. And if we check that... Is it under miscellaneous? When we read it? Yeah, I think that's all it did. I don't think it gave us anything. It just gives us the holotape. So, neat. So we have an extra game if we want to play it. Alright, uh, now there is one part, actually, that I didn't see. Hi, buddy. How you doing? Aw, did you get... Did you fall down? Go go boom. Alright, so there's one part of the museum that I actually didn't see. So we're gonna go see that part real quick before I continue. You also see... Let's see, where did I... This is this is the area I haven't gone, so we're gonna double check this area. I, there can't be any enemies at this point. But I might as well reload my gun and see what's down here. No more British occupation! Uh... I'm assuming that's... Man, the mannequin... There's so many mannequins. So many mannequins. There could be some supplies here, though, so I gotta... Gotta double-check. It looks like everything's actually been looted bad. 
Uh, yeah, there's nothing, nothing here. Come on, Wilma, let's go. Have your tea back, you jackanapes! You jackanapes? Nothing here, actually. Okay, so... Well, I was looking for something. But, uh, it doesn't appear that there's anything here. So maybe... Maybe it's not such a big deal that I hadn't seen this yet. Alright. So now we're back here. Uh, we have the option of, uh, hacking another computer terminal. Which, once again, gives us even more... <laughs> I couldn't get to the terminal because Wilma was in the way. Alright, so let's, uh, let's do this again. Lance. Likeness 1. Uh, let's try table. Likeness 1. Uh, it could be A or E, couldn't it? Uh, I guess that was a bad choice. Uh, do 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 Grade. Likeness 3. Okay, so this is a good example so I can show what I was talking about. So if we go up through this stuff, um, and look for some of the brackets. Don't think that thing counted. So this thing, if we click on this, it removed a dud, which is helpful. Um, we can go through and look for another series of brackets. See if we can find some. There's another one. Another dud got removed. I'm hoping to, to, to find one that will restore um, some of our tries. That would be actually pretty helpful. I don't know if these count or not. No, they do. Okay, so that removed a dud as well. So we're moving, we're removing duds, which is great. Does this count? Tries reset. Oh, great. So yeah, I never knew about that in Fallout 3, which blows my mind. Alright, so Grade had a likeness of 3, and one of the likenesses was definitely E on the end. So it's got to be something that has E on the end, and three other letters match. So it can't be Ankle. Um, has to have an E on the end, E on the end, Guide. Uh, it could definitely be Guide. In fact, it probably is. I'm through. And it is. So once again, instead of unlocking the security gate, just go over here and do it by hand. So I got the maximum amount of experience out of that. That broke immediately. That's fun. On this side... Got it! Nice. Looking good. Uh, is there anything else down here? There's a picture of a kitty cat. Uh, we've got med axe, duct tape, ball peen hammer. Um, one of the things that I, you know... Piece of pieces of advice I was taking from you guys, and I definitely want to to do is get back to like the Red Rocket and start um, scrapping stuff because that's a big part of the game, and you guys have really emphasized that. Uh, let's go back to my pistol for a, for a bit. Okay, fusion core take. So I'm assuming that is going to shut down. Did that shut down the power or anything? I guess there was not power in here to begin with. We're just working off of the, uh, the skylight. So now, um, we've got to go back upstairs. I heard a noise, but... I think we're good. Um, now we gotta go back upstairs because that is where the power armor is. So we're gonna take care of this. <laughs> As it plays that patriotic tune. Man, we took care of all these guys. Boom, 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 bang, bang, bang. Uh, let's see. Turn the corner. Hi everyone, I did it. Juice up the suit of power armor, and then you'll be able to heft that minigun. Yeah, you know it. Okay, up here is the door to the Commonwealth. So let's step out onto that roof. Out onto the roof. That is what we're after. Uh, there could be some other stuff here. Dogmeat found something. <laughs> did you find a door? Did you find a door, Wilma? Um, what did I just pick up? Log SSG Michael Daly. Personal log. United States Army Staff Sergeant Michael Daly. This past Saturday, October 23rd, while en route to West Stockbridge, a vertebrate crashed into the roof of this museum. The cause? EMP following nuclear detonation. Several, in fact. From the intel I've gathered, this was a global event. The co-pilot was killed on impact. The pilot died of his injuries a day later. The day after that, Flaherty and Kanawa were shot by some scared, desperate survivors. Then Brzezanski took off running. Haven't seen him since. Now, it's my turn to go AWOL, if 
That concept even applies anymore. My armor's fusion core is burned out, so I guess my soldering days are done. I'm heading to Boston, on foot, to see if my sister survived all this. She's got an apartment on Boylston Street. This is Mike Daly, signing out. Good luck. And God bless America. Or what's left of it. This is not the best long-range weapon. In fact, I think it's actually too far away to be useful. Switch over to this thing. Gonna take that power armor for a spin down there. Good night! What you doing, friend? No, 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 no. Don't you hide. Load this sucker up! I get ya? Come on, I get the Come on, I got places to be. Gristle. And there's a special special enemy named Gristle. All right, well it's not going to matter because now I can actually take this thing. So, without further Oh, there's more stuff over here. Dear god. Adjustable wrench, flip lighter, used oil can. I need to I need to take all of this stuff at some point, but dog on it. Let's start with uh start with the basics here. Put the fusion core in the power armor. Enter the power armor. Uh, enter? Yeah, let's enter. Well, this is gonna be interesting. Oh god. Power armor reduces incoming damage and prevents all damage from falling. Grab the minigun. So now I have a minigun. He went down pretty easy, didn't he? What you got on you, son? Corvega storage key, stim pack, knuckles. You had a lot of fun stuff. Don't need any of this other stuff. Where are you going? Oh, don't run! Oh, that's not fun at all! Hey, buddy. Bottle caps. Uh, still looking for the left leg. That's what I'm after. Do you have a left leg? You have a pool cue. Left leg, anyone? Left leg. <laughs> Long johns, not what I'm after. Oh, that's cute. That's really cute. Okay, so these guys are going down pretty easy. I think I said I made a car explode. Death claw. Oh, God. Hi, buddy. How's it? Oh, my God. These take a lot of hits. Keep it distracted, Wilma. You're doing fine. The dog is not in trouble. The dog is fine. The dog is fine. Does this thing overheat? Let's see, where's my HP? My HP is fine. Yeah, the gun does overheat. Lord of mercy. There's still raiders. Why are you shooting at me? There's a death claw. I think he's coming after the guy with the biggest gun, right? I got him. Take that, you son of a gun. Death call meat, death call hand. I think I'll take both. And you have been getting on my last nerve, I'll tell you that. Now, before you fall over, do you have a left leg? What you got? What you got going on, buddy? I think I killed them all. Did none of them have a left leg? Oh, come on now. Grit is in search for a left leg, dang it. Double barrel shotgun, once again, a right leg. Is that it? Did we do it? Let me check here. Oh, our pit boy now shows up on screen. That's kind of fun. That's nice. Uh, yeah, let's check here. When we look at quests, report back to Preston. Okay. Well, that's what we'll do. Wilma, you alright? You look fine. Can run. There's my action points. The thing in the bottom right not... Can I go in wearing this? I guess so. You okay? I'm fine, Preston. Quit fussing. Hi, buddy. Hey there. That was a pretty amazing display. I'm just glad you were on our side. Uh... You guys gonna be okay now? Yeah. For a while, anyway. We can at least move someplace. Listen. When we first met, you asked about the Minutemen? 
One thing you should know about us, we help out our friends. So here, for everything you've done, thank you. Well, that was nice. Um, hmm. You're welcome. You're welcome. Anytime. Well, since you say that, maybe you'll come to Sanctuary with us. We could use your help getting settled there. Hmm. What would I need to do? You'd need to stay strong like you've been. Because there's more to your destiny. I've seen it. And I know your pain. Hmm. Okay. I'm listening. You're a man out of time. Out of hope. But all's not lost. I can feel... Your son's energy. He's alive. Wow. So, if you knew about my son, that's okay. Huh. Where is my son? Where is Sean? Oh, I wish I knew, kid. I really do. But it's not like I can see your son. I can just... feel his life force. His energy. He's out there. And even I don't need the sight to tell you where you should start looking. The great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Diamond City. The biggest settlement around. Hmm. What's in Diamond City? Is Sean there? Look, kid. I'm tired now. Maybe you'll bring me some chems later. The sight will paint a clearer picture. Mama Murphy, we talked about this. That junk. It's gonna kill you. Ah, shush, Preston. We're all gonna die eventually. We're gonna need the sight. And our new friend here, he's gonna need it too. Now let's get going. Sanctuary awaits. All right, folks. Thanks to our friend here, it's safe to move out. We're heading for that place Mama Murphy knows about. Sanctuary. It's not far. She knows about it? You mean she had one of her visions while she was stoned out of her gourd? And now you want us to just head out on another wild goose chase based on no better plan than Mama Murphy saw it? It can hardly oh, turn on, out any worse than... Everybody just take it easy. We're all in this together, right? So Marcy, you got a better idea of what we should do next? Anybody? Well then, sanctuary it is. Let's just hope it lives up to its name. Come on, June. It's time to go. Oh, okay. Interesting. I was considering setting up a base at either Red Rocket or Sanctuary. But if these guys are going to be at Sanctuary, maybe I should just join them. Um, so I guess that would work. Get so... Going. Diamond City is where you need to head. We owe you. No doubt about that. Alright, uh, I think I'm going to head back to Sanctuary then with these guys and see uh, what comes of that. So I decided just to fast travel, um, because you can do that. So I fast traveled here, and it actually s put me right here, so I'm assuming that I can... Can I transfer my... I don't actually know how to do this. I don't know if it's possible to, like, hang up my power station, my power armor on the station. Uh, not entirely sure. Let me take a moment and see if I can figure this out. So it took me a minute, but I got it figured out. Um, you have to exit the power armor near this thing, and then whenever I went and clicked on craft, then, you know, all my stuff is still here. Uh, I also took out the fusion core, and I'm keeping it on my person. I think I read a comment or two that said to hold on to them, just in case, for one, you need it later. Um, and also, I think someone said that if you leave it in it, it actually kills the battery. I have no idea, but I took it with me because it, it doesn't hurt. Um, because it's weightless. Uh, the left arm and the right leg actually are broken, um, and they need to be repaired before they can be used. Um, it's actually going to take four steel in order to repair that, but I think I'll go ahead and do that. Um, that way it's working. So that, that works now. And then as far as the right leg, two steel and gold-plated flip lighters. Go ahead and repair that as well. So my armor works again, which, uh, which is helpful helpful. The armor has health, so whenever you look there, you can see how much health all of this stuff has, but the armor is, is up to date, which is cool. You can also do mods on the power armor, just like you would anything else. Um, you can do all these different things. Not going to worry too much about that at the moment, 
Um, but at least I got it working. Also, I am very happy to announce that on my way out of town... Oh, hey! You guys are... here. You just showed up and started... ...working. I guess that's... good. Uh, on my way out of town, I was fortunate to find... ...um, a leather left leg. Hallelujah. So I actually have a complete set of, uh, of armor. Which is wonderful, so at least that much is done. Okay. Uh, currently I'm over-encumbered. And I cannot run, which is- which is bad. <clears throat> hey. Do you have a moment? I wanted to thank you. For helping us out in Concord. If only we'd run into you sooner. Um... Don't mention it. You guys have been through hell, huh? You have no idea. In these past few months, we've lost everything. My son, he's... He's gone. Your son. What was his name? Kyle. My son's name was... Kyle. That's awful. No parent should have to lose their child. No. No, they shouldn't. I just keep thinking... Maybe I could have done more. Anyway... Thanks again. Hmm. He was like a nice guy. Alright, um, so what I'm gonna spend, uh, the last few minutes in the episode doing is getting this workshop stuff figured out. You guys have been talking how important it is to, you know, take everything, scrap everything, turn it into usable supplies, um, tear down the neighborhood. And that's what I want to do. So I'm gonna take the next few minutes and do my best to figure it out and see what I've figured out and then share what I've learned. I think this might be it. Scrap. Done. Hopefully done. Now I could probably get rid of this... this thing too. I don't know if these things actually work. I haven't actually seen this at night, but I presume that these are all broken. So, I just went through, and to the best of my knowledge, scrapped pretty much the entire neighborhood. There might have been a house or two I missed, but for the most part, I scrapped everything. Um, it took a while to do. I don't know if there was, a uh, an automated way of doing it. So I just entered workshop mode and walked around. You'll see that there's, um, there's a green outline that kind of shows what you can scrap within the area. Looks like I might have missed some trees out here. No, actually, it won't let me scrap these. Okay. Uh, most of the trees you can scrap. I am probably set forever on steel and wood. Like, I have so much stuff. Some of the houses you could just scrap completely and they just disappear if they're completely, you know, destroyed. So, after taking all the time to do that, the neighborhood looks good. Relatively. I mean, it's still kind of bleak and there's no sign of, of, uh, vegetative life or anything like that. Um, plant life is all gone. But, uh, there's settlers here. And apparently they're not happy because we don't have food, water, or beds. So that is my next step. I'm gonna try and figure that out. See if I can get that started. I did it. I powered up my first object. Uh, so I built a um, a water uh, pump, like over closer into the neighborhood. But I wanted to build this water purifier because it makes a lot more water. Had to be placed on the water. So I came down here, and there's some there's still some other crap I can scrap down here. So I placed this, but it required power, and it needed a generator. This produces three. And this requires two, so I did this, and then you run a wire to it, and then it starts making it work. This is, this is really neat. Like, the fact that you can do all of this crazy stuff is really, really super cool. Um, before I end the ep episode, I'm gonna do a few more things to at least get this settlement underway. And... That ought to do it. It's beautiful. I absolutely love it. Grid Jones love ki loves kittens, by the way. That's very important. So, I, I cleared everything out. Um, I've done my absolute best. It's taken a while to, to not only clear everything out, but to set up some stuff, because there's actually quite a lot to do. 
Um, if we jump back into workshop view, you'll see at the top, I have adequate water, I have adequate power, I have adequate defense, I have adequate beds. I couldn't get adequate food. Um, and a lot of that comes down to the fact that um, I just didn't have any plants. I didn't have any vegetables to, uh, to put into the ground. So in order to get the necessary defense, I just put some guard posts up here. You have to assign people to them, um, not each, in, each one individually. I think you can assign one person to like, honestly, like three. As long as there's three, I think, in an area, they'll be accounted for and you get the defense bonus from that. Um, there were already some gourds being, like, planted and stuff back here, so this girl is uh, working on them. I'm not going to look at you right now. Uh, so I basically waited for her to finish those, and then I took them and planted more elsewhere, and I've been doing that, but the, the food is still at four. So it's still taking quite a long time to uh, to get the food where we need it, but I can probably take care of that next time. I think uh, probably probably by the next episode, maybe um, we'll have adequate food. That's the only thing really missing. Um, we have stations to make things. Um, I've gotten rid of all the junk on me. I've scrapped a lot of like the extra guns and stuff that I don't need. So things look good here in the uh, in the settlement. Um, it's just a matter of getting adequate food, which is kind of important. Um, also, before I forget, someone had mentioned in a comment that there was a, um, like a, a cellar or something behind someone's house. And, uh, while I was getting rid of stuff, I found it. It's, is it back here? Now I'm never going to be able to find it again. I think it's one of the early houses. Um, I'm going to double check it real quick. I don't even know if it's something I can go in. Uh, I just know that there there was a cellar somewhere, and I wanted to point it out before I forgot about it for the rest of time. There it is. I knew it was behind one of the blue houses. Can I go in this? Yes, I can. Alright, so let's explore this to end the episode. Wow. Okay, so I'm glad that I came down here. There's actually quite a bit of supplies. Pork and beans. Uh, yeah, don't care much about all this stuff. There's some pre-war money. Someone was holding on to money for, I guess, some purpose. Uh, we've got, uh, a gold bar. Okay, so that's interesting. Uh, we obviously, we have a safe, which requires advance and locking, which I think we can take care of. Oh, come on. A little to the left, maybe? There we go. Got it. We've got some ammo in here, another pipe pistol, silver tablespoon. Uh, interesting. Got some 45 rounds, purified water, there's some stuff in the toolbox. Very cool. Very cool. More purified water. Cram. And some other stuff that we should be able to, uh, to get rid of. Burnt Trade Magazine. That's weird. Mattress, we can sleep down here if we need to. Actually, quite a bit of purified water. Which is, uh, which is helpful. It require it, uh, recover some health without giving you rads. Um, wooden crate, a death claw hand. Huh, so someone was actually living under here for a little bit. Now, the only thing I couldn't figure out, and you guys can let me know, uh, when I was in the process of, of doing everything, is, uh, I didn't know if there was a way to manually, um, cr uh, like, hold on, first, can, can I enter workshop mode in here? I guess not. You can only do it once you're above ground. Um, yeah, I couldn't figure out if there was a way to actually uh, scrap things from the workshop menu. And maybe there's not, and maybe I don't need to. Maybe it just takes everything that's in your workshop and gets rid of it that way. Um, but I could not figure out if there was a way to do it, because I know that we had I had picked up some crap that I just didn't need, um, but I couldn't figure out any way to scrap it. Uh, if it was junk, I assumed that it's just getting scrapped on its own, um, but like things like the guns and armor, like I had to take that to a, a, you know, a weapon station or a armor station and scrap it there. Is there a way to scrap things otherwise? That would be my question for you guys because um, I would be curious to know that. Anyway, I'm gonna grab the rest of the stuff and uh, end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching and uh, be sure to let me know anything you want me to know for next time. We'll probably finish up any settlement stuff if you guys have any recommendations for settlement stuff. Um, and then I think 
I'll probably go back into Concord and explore a little bit, and we'll probably be on our way to Diamond City. I heard from a few of you guys that um, it's in our best interest to at least get to Diamond City, follow the main quest there, and then if we want to explore a little bit on our own, we can, but we should at least follow the main quest to Diamond City, so I'll wait to hear what you guys think. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time for more Stephen Plays Fallout 4. Also, I have to throw this in. I did see all of your comments about going back to the vault and getting the wedding ring. That's not something that we're going to do right this second, but it's something we will do at some point in the future. Because sometime we're going back to get that cry later. Yes, I know about the glitch. No, we will not be using an exploit to get the gun. When we get our master unlocking, we'll go back for the cry later, and at that time, we will get the wedding ring. Okay, thanks. Yeah.